I think Trump's actually gonna win this fucking thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so pissed off. Fuck. 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 God damn it. Definitely because I'm thinking about the people who are not a part of anybody's elite who are hurting tonight. Um, uh, there are African-American women who know a little bit about being talked down to and know a little bit about having their economic dreams crushed, who tried to dream a big dream over the past couple of months. And tonight they're trading in a lot of hope for a lot of hurt. And they were hoping that maybe this time, this time, one of their own could be seen as worthy. And once again, they were facing rejection. And that hurts. They thought tomorrow morning they're going to walk out with their shoulders back a little bit. Maybe able to breathe for the first time and feel like they belong someplace. They did everything that they knew how to do. And it's going to be harder than it should be tomorrow for them to hold their heads up. And they're not the only people who are hurting tonight. If you're a, tran if you're a parent of a trans kid, your, your, your child's face was used uh, as a springboard to power for somebody. That doesn't feel good. There are going to be people tomorrow, we're going to be handing clothes at the dry cleaners to people who don't have papers. There are going to be people who are going to be cleaning your teeth tomorrow who don't have papers. And they're terrified tonight. And so it's easy to blow this off. Oh, look at the elites. They're going to get their comeuppance. It's not the elite that's going to pay the price. It's people who woke up this morning with a dream and are going to bed with, with, with a nightmare. And those people didn't deserve to be respected and held and talked to. Those are the people who are going to pay the price for whatever Donald Trump voted for a racist, a rapist, a dictator. You voted for a bully, a bigot, and a narcissist. Even the Germans tried to warn us, but you didn't listen. You didn't listen to the historians, the psychologists, the educators, and the intellectuals. With whether or not we won, the point. So, my so point is, we can't. So you're why gonna get in a time machine and go back why four didn't years. The vice president won if the economy that's was so not, great. That's not the point I'm making. So the, what point is the point. I, the point. Don't look at me like that. What's the point? The point that I'm trying to make is that where we were in 2017 in 2018 you we can't just get in a time my, machine my and go back is your message didn't resonate i That's said that and, and and i think to try to pretend and paint a picture and bakari I, I get your points in terms of the charts i get it i'm a numbers guy but most people are saying i get the numbers i don't have a 401k i'm not well, invested I, I, in the story about my station in life i worry about the working class i worry about my mother a retired teacher I worry about our elderly and their social security and their medical so care. I worry about my children's future, especially my daughter, who now has less rights than I have. And I remember my father telling me many, many years ago that I was the first person in, in his family to enjoy full civil rights. And now I have less civil rights than I had when he told me that. So again, I'm profoundly disturbed that the 14th Amendment of the Constitution did not prevent someone who participated in an insurrection from becoming president of the United States. I think that going forward, the convicted felon box on employment applications better be taken off, because if you can be the president of the United States, then you should, then you should yes. not be prevented from employment in this country, because I remember applying for my jobs in a Yes, there is. There's misogyny. But it's not just misogyny from white men. Mm -hmm. It's misogyny from Hispanic men. Right. It's misogyny from black men. Things we've all right. been talking about who do not want a woman leading them. Might be race issues with Hispanics. Y'all hate to see a black, a Latino, anybody that's an LGBTQ plus, a woman being happy doing shit on her fucking own. Cause to wake up and seeing it being that close, and I'm seeing comments where people are like, I'm in another country, I don't know how this is happening. Wake up! I chose family, I chose women, I chose America. <laughs> I love you. For linings. I will not ask you to feel anything but grief right now. Donald Trump won the election and the consequences will be real and devastating. I have to move, I'm pretty sure. I no longer have faith in who we think we are. I mean, I've spent most of the morning crying. It's a devastating outcome for our country. Um, it shows hate and how hate can win. And that for the first time in 20 years, the popular vote voted for a candidate that has no problem telling people that they don't belong in a country. That yeah, we don't even have to fucking, like, we don't have to freak out. We don't have to freak out because it's not even real.
because bitch rake out the vote oh i'm too depressed to talk about it fuck you i don't want to hear about how shitty your life gets under his policies in the post-election period in 2020 was that he was a unique threat strike the verb tense he is a unique threat to <clears throat> my takeaway is that the system works we live in a democracy mm -hmm. people spoke this is what people wanted. I vehemently disagree with the decision mm -hmm. that Americans made, but I feel very, very hopeful that we have a democratic system in this country. We should value it. We should love it. We should protest if we, if the situation arises. That we now you can argue that politically the Never Trump effort yeah, failed. Actually, let me but pause Donald you for Trump one second because there is a difference between <laughs> Donald Trump and the Lincoln Project and what happened with Liz Cheney, which was a break that occurred after January 6th. Can yes. You know? and, you, and you can't, I mean, Scott, you can't pretend that Donald Trump has not spent a lot of his time and energy trying to convince the American people that the electoral system in this country is rigged. And that's before you even get to yeah. January 6th. I talked about this on this set numerous times, is that you have a state where you've got a six-week abortion or a 12-week abortion. I think theirs might be 12 weeks. Yep. But it's a state where women lost their reproductive rights, where there was a very heavy push to get women to focus on not putting in place, uh, you know, re-electing, putting back into the White House the person who was responsible for taking those rights away and restoring them. Um, but that message obviously was not enough to get enough white women to vote um, for Vice President Harris, a fellow woman. This would be the second opportunity that white women in this country have to change the way that they interact with the patriarchy. It's, it's time to go to bed. Yeah. None of us are stressed about the election, right? It's all, we all are going to just go have the best night the best night's sleep of our lives, aren't we? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done with you and your mother and your sister. I'm just done with all of this.